Welcome everybody to my newest Let's Play, Volchan World 2, which is a hack of uh, Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. Uh, like the first uh, Mega Man for the Game Boy that I played, uh, this is just a slight hack where it changes the sprite of Mega Man to his sister role, the uh, lab assistant from uh, Dr. Light, uh, the creator of uh, Mega Man. So basically it's like Mega Man's... Uh, Sister has taken over for him, so there's a few uh, other small changes uh, as well. Uh, rather than being the Rush Coil and the Rush Jet, uh, to keep it more in line with Roll's character, uh, the Rush uh, Coil becomes the Tango Coil, which is the uh, Tango is the cat, and uh, the Rush Marine becomes the Tango Diver, and the Rush Jet becomes the Broom. Uh, Sled, so, but uh, those don't really affect gameplay at all. They just change the uh, sprite. N in terms of gameplay, nothing's really been changed. So any strategy uh, used here can be used for the uh, unhacked game. So I just like uh, the bowl uh, character. Uh, I remember there was a fighting game, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, that I used to watch lots of people play. Uh, when I was in college, it was really popular uh, back in uh, 2000, 2001, and uh, the local playland. And uh, they had all these characters that, you know, they fought each other. It was a like three on three battle. And uh, I didn't know a lot of the characters, I wasn't really into comics, and uh, half the characters are from comic books, uh, from Marvel comics, and the other from uh, Capcom games. And I didn't know a lot of the Capcom games either. Uh, but I didn't know the Mega Man stuff. Uh, Mega Man's a character, and Wall's a character there, and I always thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I was, and uh, I always liked the, the Wall character, it was just funny to see, you know, this little girl robot, you know, fighting these big monsters and stuff. Uh, so I always had a soft place in my heart uh, for the character. Uh, even though apparently she's like the worst character in that game. But, oh well, but there's no, uh, no difference between uh, her and Mega Man in this game. Like I said, the sprite, uh, just the sprite change. So like uh, Mega Man 1, uh, this game uh, will reuse assets from the uh, Mega Man NES games. In this case, uh, it uses assets from Mega Man uh, 2 and 3. Just as Mega Man 1 on the Game Boy used assets from Mega Man 1 and Mega Man 2. So it just kind of recycles. Uh, this one uses the four Robot Masters that weren't in Mega Man 1. Uh, in Mega Man 1 they had uh, Bubble Man, Heat Man, Flash Man, and Quick Man. So now we get to fight the other three Robot Masters who weren't used in uh, Game Boy uh, Dr. Wily's Revenge, the first Mega Man Game Boy. This, uh, like I said, incorporates enemies uh, from Mega Man 2 and Mega Man 3. And it also incorporates the slide mechanic that was introduced in Mega Man 3 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And pressing down and jump. So it makes you just uh, move a little bit faster uh, and slide through little uh, areas. So it just speeds up gameplay a little bit. So like the other Mega Mans, uh, you just choose a robot master to fight. We defeat that Robot Master, then use that Robot Master's, uh, weapon to fight, uh, an enemy, uh, another enemy that's weak against it, uh, makes them a little bit easier. I start with Airman, because Airman's weakness to Wood Shield, uh, with all the hurricanes that Airman shoots at you, it, uh, it's pretty tough to hit him with his weakness, the Wood Shield, because it's kind of big and clunky. So he's pretty easy to take out with just your regular uh, air bus, your regular uh, roll buster. Also, by taking out uh, Airman first, you get access to the, the broom uh, jet, and uh, that's gonna really help uh, your maneuverability. You don't have to wait for all these like floating platforms to make their way around. You just use the broom to uh, skip areas make some tricky jumps, uh, and also pick up some uh, items. Uh, I always like to play the Mega Man games uh, where I pick up all the items that are around in the stages. So by going the way that I'm doing it here, I'll be able to pick up all the energy tanks. Uh, 
and uh, like one ups that are hidden at throughout the stages. So yeah, if you went to this stage first, you wouldn't be able to get that because you wouldn't have had the the broom to get up there. But, and then uh, when we beat this stage, we'll get the uh, the tango uh, coil, uh, and that'll let us get a uh, an item uh, in uh, the Metal Man stage, which is the next stage. So Crash Man here is weak to the air uh, buster, just like how he was in Meg Man 2 from the NES. Uh, but Metal Man, his weakness will be the Crash Bomb. In the Meg Man NES game, it was the Quick Boomerangs. But since Quick Man isn't in this game, uh, we had to give a different weakness, and he's weak to the uh, Crash Bombs here. So we get another E-Tank there. Uh, those E-Tanks, uh, when you use them, they refill your uh, entire energy. So uh, that would be really good against, like, you know, tougher bosses. Enough of the bosses are really super duper tough uh, in this game. Uh, the Crash Man is a little tougher than he was in, than in the NES game. Uh, mainly because the air shooter has, seems to have a really weird hitbox. Uh, it doesn't take as much damage uh, against you can uh, against uh, Crash Man. In uh, the NES version, you can defeat him with uh, three hits of the uh, air shooter. But uh, as you can see, it's not it's doing not doing a lot of damage. Or it's not hitting him all that well. Uh, like I said, it seems to have a very uh, funky hitbox. So now he's uh, pretty easy to take care of with just the Mega Buster. So he's, he can also be a Decent uh, for the roll buster. Uh, he could be a pretty decent uh, enemy to take out first, but then you wouldn't be able to get those uh, energy tanks like I did in this uh, playthrough, so that's why I went and did Airman first. So you just stay away from him, jump. When you jump uh, and shoot, he will jump and shoot as well. So you just stay away from him, slide across the room, jump and shoot, he'll jump into the bullet, slide under his attack. And you can almost just finish him off like that without uh, taking any damage. But, as I said, we defeat Crash Man, we get his weapon, the Crash Bomber, and we also get the Tango Coil, which is that little cat that has a spring on its back. And let's just get to higher uh, areas, so we'll put that uh, to use here in the next stage, the, Mega, uh, the Metal Man stage. Uh, kind of a trickier stage because there's uh, a lot of uh, transition screens. Uh, you see right here at the beginning uh, where you got to be careful that you don't fall into uh, some spikes below. These guys are only vulnerable to the crash, crash bomber, so... See, there's spikes right there in the middle, or to the right side, spikes there. Yeah, quite a few uh, pass, uh, screen, screen transitions where you can potentially land in spikes. You just gotta, you know, if your first time playing through the game, you might call them those spikes, but it's not uh, that bad uh, of a game. Uh, most people consider it the easiest of the Mega Man Game Boy games. Uh, so, I think it's definitely, I haven't played all of them. Uh, I only played this one and Mega Man uh, got the one the first one. Uh, that's obviously why they're the only ones on my channel. Uh, but this one is definitely easier than, uh, than uh, Mega Man 1. And I think what, one thing that makes it easier is the, uh, what you call it, the addition of the energy refills. Just like how in Mega Man uh, 1 for the NES and uh, Mega Man 2 for the NES, uh, Mega Man 2 had the energy refill tanks. That makes some of the bosses like uh, a lot easier. Uh, I can imagine just how easier some of the tougher enemies like uh, the Dr. Wily uh, stage, uh, first stage, the yellow, uh, the yellow devil, the rock monster. How easy would that would be if you had energy refill tanks? And even uh, the whole uh, at the end of the gauntlet where you fight the four robot masters, uh, you fight uh, Iceman, Fireman, uh, Bond Man, and Guts Man uh, all in a row, and then Dr. Wily. Like, that section would be so much easier if you had, like, the opportunity to, you know, refill your energy. They didn't have that back in, uh, Mega Man 1, uh, both the NES and the, the Game Boy, so... 
Let's go have that uh, addition here. Hard hat hooligan with a net. So there's a one up. We won't be able to get that normally. But since we did Crash Man first, we got the Tango Coil. Get some of the cat. And we jump on the back. And it bounces up. And let's just get that one up. We can have up to uh, nine one ups. Uh, you see the list that we have right there at the lower right there to the right of our energy bar. Um. Like Mega Man 1, uh, you get passwords when you defeat certain robots. And what I'll be doing is, like, uh, so the whole game we played at once, uh, I'll be getting a password after defeating so many robot masters. The only bad thing is that when you do a password, uh, you don't get to keep, like, all your extra lives. You just restart with two. But there is one advantage of the password system, and that is when you're in the Wily Castle stages, uh, normally your energy doesn't refill between levels. You gotta manage your special weapon energy, uh, but uh, with the uh, password, if you use a password in Dr. Wally's castle, the, the weapons will all refill. Crash Bomb takes a lot of energy, uh, so we won't able to defeat, uh, if I miss one shot against Metal Man here, but we will just go back to our bowl buster. There is a, a cheap way if you, uh, if you get too close to Metal Man, he jumps uh, to the other side of you. If you slide under him and get to the right of him while he's on your left, he'll jump over to the right and he'll get stuck in the wall. Uh, it's a little glitch, but uh, Metal Man's pretty easy to take out on his own, so. But that's the first three of the Robot Masters. Uh, we'll be taking out uh, the last of the Mega Man 2 Robot Masters, Woodman, uh, in our next episode in uh, Salting Wily's Castle. Take care, see you then. Bye.